fellow realtors and welcome to your base buzz. I'm Doreen Roberts, a realtor and your host for the buzz. We had another opportunity to sit down with CAR President Don Fott for a couple of hot topics. Don was at that special NAR director's meeting in Chicago on July 24th. He's got the inside scoop. We're also going to talk about a hot release of forms that just came out that last week in July. Don, let's get to it. First, my question is, what was so dang secretive about that meeting? <laughs> you know, it was just the fact is, is that Move, who operates Realtor.com, is a publicly traded company. And so we had security guards posted, couldn't bring in any electronics because we didn't want any information getting outside of that room. Didn't want to be accused of insider trading. So it's basically SEC regulations Absolutely. and not just to put a secret. No, no. We it. want everybody to know what's going on. Got it. Got it. All right. Makes sense. Three things came out of it. Why don't you break them down for us? Okay, so real quick, 1996, we came out with Realtor.com. We wanted to make sure that the Realtor brand was protected, so we put all these different rules in there. Well, now times have changed, obviously. Now we have Zillow, Trulia, all those things. So we, had, so we want to take the handcuffs off and become a more comprehensive site so we compete with the other guys. And so the three things that we did, first one was before you could only have realtor owned information things from the MLS those type of things so we've removed that restriction so now non realtors can actually advertise on the fight just licensees yikes I can already hear a problem with yeah. that what's the deal so actually it's not as bad as some people might think actually uh, what will happen is is the realtors will actually be very recognizable on the site they would be heavily branded and the licensees, the non-realtors, will actually have to pay a fee uh, to, in order to be on the site and not be as prominent. Okay, but it also helps our data be Absolutely. more complete. Absolutely. Okay. Then the second thing is currently builders and new neighborhoods are not allowed to be on the site. Uh, so we're changing that so that uh, builders uh, can, can be on the site. So we have, again, more comprehensive data. The other thing that we're going to do as part of, a part of it is allow uh, landlords advertise their rental properties online. And the reason for that is uh, when people are going out to buy a home for the first time, they're typically maybe haven't bought a home yet. So we want to make sure they go to the realtor.com site to get introduced to realtors so we can start getting them information so they're more informed as potential home buyers. So that's our introduction for realtors to them. Then the third thing was amending the requirement that uh, currently we don't have a section for NODs and foreclosures, just stress type of properties, whereas the other sites do. So now we're going to have a whole separate section that allows for these distressed properties to be designated on the site. But if a broker doesn't feel like that's in the best interest of their property, they can opt out of that. So you don't have to have that feature. So the end result, we're going to have a more complete data set Absolutely. under the Realtor.com brand that's going to compete with the other public portals Absolutely. that are out there. Sounds great, but what are your thoughts? Did the NAR directors get it right? Do you agree? Do you disagree? Give us your buzz back in the comments below. Go to our Bay East Buzz Facebook page. Give us your thoughts and comments. Don, one last thing. I know uh -huh. we had a release of some forms the last week in July. What was that all about? It was an odd time to release. Right, so uh, the week of July 29th, uh, CAR released some new forms, but this, the form that's uh, the, probably the biggest change that has one of the biggest impacts, I think, has to do with off-market listings. And so now on the listing agreement, there is a separate disclosure box, a very lengthy, very specific disclosure box that the seller actually has to um, initial explaining the benefits of being um, on the MLS. All right, and, and, and we also have the form has changed from Bay East to make sure that the seller, all information has been disclosed about the impact of exclusion of their property on the yes. MLS. So Very those important. are going to work together. My understanding is those are the only forms that are going to be allowed um, to have a property excluded off of the MLS at the association. Well, Don, thanks again for taking oh, the time pleasure. to come down and chat about these important topics. We always like to hear directly from Don when he's been at these meetings himself. Thanks for joining us today on The Buzz, and remember to join us next time when we're going to be talking about an interesting hot topic. Make it a great week, and we'll see you next week on The Buzz.